Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Technoholic. In this video, we are diving into an awesome screen mirroring software that's not just for Android, but also works seamlessly for iPhone, iPad on Windows. In our last video, I showed you how to download and set up this software, but back then I only had free version. Thanks to iPhone Mirror for sponsoring this video and providing their premium license, which allowed me to explore the full capability of software which I'm going to show you in this video. And if you want to check out our first video where I have showcased how one can download, set up and configure this software, then do check out the link I have added of that video in the description of this one. Now in this video, first of all, I will show you the full blown software and I'm going to show you how we can connect our iPhone as well as the tablet here you can see and this Android phone. So without further ado, let's get started okay so now here you can see we are at our computer screen and uh, let me actually open the home page of this software if in case you know you would like to check so this is the link and not to worry guys again i'm gonna provide you this link in the description of this video and then there is a christmas sale also nowadays going on which gonna give you even more discount so I would say do check out the description where I also have added some added discount code that iPhone mirror provided me to avail even further discount. Now, since I already have installed it, so I do not want to take too much of time in, uh, you know, doing setup. So I would say do check out our previous video where I have shown step by step method how you can install iPhone mirror in your Windows device. And I would say it is pretty easy. All you need to do is you need to click on here and then it will download this setup and then you simply need to run it. Now, after you install, let me open the app. Now, let me look for the app, which is iMyPhone. And let's start this and there we go. So here now you see the software itself provides step by step guide how one can get connected. So in case of iPhone, all you need to do and make sure is you are connected to the same network. So after connecting to the same network, all I need to do here is I need to go here in mirroring option. And now when you successfully install the software in your system, you will see your system names. And then here I can see my TV is also showing. And then this one is my system. So let me click here on mirror to my system. And there we go. So here, uh, if I take you back to screen, I can see now my iPhone is being mirrored in my Android device. And here I can see how smooth the whole experience look like when compared to my previous video where I have used the watermark variant. And the display quality here also look top notch. Here I am mirroring my iPhone in a 4K monitor, which looks even better. Again, let me click here on exit full screen mode. And then, um, you know, we can also record screen like this as uh, we have seen in past, which is really nice. Now, let me click again on record my screen. And now here I can see the video is being created. And you look at the quality of both. So this one was free version. The quality looked terrible. However, this is the paid. And now you see, uh, you itself can see the difference between both. Uh, the second one look much more professional and clean. Now, apart from that, let me actually connect my another device. Uh, I'm going to disconnect my iPhone. And just like the way I projected my iPhone, now I'm going to project my iPad Pro M4. And steps again are very same simply need to click on screen mirroring in your notification and then you need to look for your application and there we go now i can even mirror my ipad and we can see here how good now it look and again i'm projecting this in my 4k monitor which even make the whole experience look better and when we can project device like ipad i would say it further going to open possibilities of doing more things for example let's say you are an educational content creator, then in that case, you can easily project your iPad screen in your system. And uh, probably I also should uh, record it. So I'm gonna click here on record. And let's say, uh, you know, I do a math tuition. 
So I can say, hey there, everyone. Um, let's start today's lesson on maths. And now let me click here on notes, where I'm going to explain uh, children's of some basic concepts. And then here, uh, I am using pencil. And let me write here 2 plus 2. And now, you know, with advanced uh, function in note, you can even make it uh, more easy. So you can teach anything here. Uh, as I am showcasing you, you can use it to explain, let's say I would like to explain Pythagoras. So I'm going to create here this, um, this triangle. And then, you know, you can see myself, right? I'm doing it live. And I just have created this educational setup uh, with ease utilizing this iPhone mirror. So I would say this is again an excellent uh, tool to do this. Now let me again click here on exit. Now let's again have a look at the screen recording. So here we go. Here I can see the content that I have recorded. And you look at the quality of it. It looks really awesome, guys. So in this way, guys, also we can utilize the screen mirroring. Now let me connect my last device, which is Android. And I would say connecting Android will be even easier. The only thing you need to make sure that your Android is connected to the same network. And I would say this is the basic prerequisite, no matter you are connecting Android phone or even iOS devices. Now let me share my Android screen here. And now I'm gonna go to Play Store and here Again, I'm gonna download this app, which is I My Phone, and this one is the app, which is Mirror to App. Now let me click on Install, and there we go. Now I'm gonna click on Open. I need to accept terms and condition, and now uh, let's click here on Next, 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 and then I'm gonna log in through my account. And it required certain permission, like showing notification. I'm gonna go back. And here, I think I am connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click here on my Wi-Fi. And I will make sure that both my system and my phone is connected to the same network. Now it should showcase my device. And you also make sure that you select Android. And then uh, it will showcase in your system. Now let me click here on Connect. And there we go. Utilizing just a single software, I was able to mirror my Android device as well. Now, uh, let me actually again go back to normal mode. And we have so many options available. For example, you can directly stream your phone screen to your favorite platform. For example, you are playing game and you want to showcase it in Twitch or YouTube. You can do that. And not only that, uh, what else we can do, we can also do file transfer. For example, I would like to send this particular photo to my phone. So I can select it and then here it says send to. And now I can simply click on start to send. And here we can see we have successfully sent this picture to my phone. So that possibility is also there. Then uh, record screen we already saw. We can also take snapshot whenever required. We also have option for mouse control, which I would say is really awesome. Then you can also utilize whiteboard. And again, I would say is really helpful when you are explaining certain thing, which is on your screen to the viewers. Now, apart from that, uh, let me actually go out of this whiteboard. We also have option for keyboard mapping which I would say is really useful. However, it is probably applicable when we use USB for screen mirroring. And let me actually quickly do that. So I'm connecting my phone from data cable. And now I think it should be even better. So first of all, let me actually disconnect it. Now again, I'm gonna run this iPhone mirror. And this time again, I'm going to click on Android. And now here I can see my device, which is Redmi K50. And now it uh, seems like I need to do some setting here, which is we need to enable USB debugging. So these are the steps one can follow to enable even more features. And by doing this, we can do even keyboard mapping. For example, like in this video where we can utilize this tool for even playing games. 
Now let me also show you how you can make it landscape. For that, you need to open any app, for example, let me open Play Store here. And uh, if I rotate my phone screen, now here I can see my whole screen now went landscape. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If you have got any kind of doubt regarding this software, like how need to buy, or even you know regarding any feature, then do let us know in comment down below. We will definitely try to help you out. And I would say if you want to buy this software right now, there is an additional discount sale also going on, which make it even you know the preferred time to buy this. For more information, please do check out the link that I have added in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you soon with one such another productivity video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.